What's up guys? Stanley King here. Another Stanley King single track Saturday ride here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Came back to town, jumped on my KTM 300 XC, headed out with the boys. We had a whole bunch of rain the night before. That's kind of rare in Las Vegas. We only get four and a half inches of rain here a year, so this is kind of a, a big deal to get rain like this. Man, it rained all night. Rode out to the riding spot. My goggles were wet, and I thought, man, it could be a mess. Parking lot was all soggy and muddy, and the guys were like, what are we doing? We got on the trail, and with 30 minutes of the ride starting, stopped raining, and the ground was just one big huge chocolate cake it was awesome the guys riding in front of me you just looked at the ground it was one big long brown line on the ground it was awesome the traction was like velcro the bikes were hooking up for us in vegas like i said it's rare that we get this much rain and to have traction and chocolate cake conditions like this it was just hero dirt all the way around so this is what we call ARC Canyon. If you're from Vegas, you probably heard of this one. This is the infamous, pretty gnarly climbing up here. We had some torrential rains a couple months ago and it really tore this thing up. This started to get laid in pretty nice and then the rain tore it up so bad that this became a super hard enduro trail again, which I like, but it really surprised me. You know, before you could cruise through here, like, I don't know, 10, 15 miles an hour and just keep holding your speed, but now it's it's not quite like that. So, dude in front of me kind of got a little gassed out, but he was riding like a champ, and I'm not surprised. It just, there's a couple sections where you get hung up, and you'll see here, I kind of, I kind of bite the dust myself, but you know what they say, up is up, so... Look at this. I mean, can you imagine riding through that right there? GoPro never does it justice, but you guys know who ride. This is gnarly, gnarly right here. Doesn't get much more screwed up than that. And I think I'm. we're riding. There we go. Boom! Just yep. ate it right into the hillside. Perfect. But like I said, up is up. So up is that up. was my only real drop down during the day. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That dude was gassed right there. Just kind of pushing his bike a little bit through here. But yeah, I came back from Guatemala a few days ago and it was kind of cool to go from jungle riding and 70, 80 degrees to come back here to Vegas. It was like 45, 47 degrees the whole day and nice and misty. Just beautiful. So good to be back in Vegas riding our incredible single track and Man, everywhere I go, it's just these uh, locals-only single tracks or just hidden gems that you'd never find and nobody seems to map them out. I know I don't. I just ride them and memorize them, and everywhere I go, it's the same deal. People memorize their trails, and when you ask, hey, where's that? They're like, not telling you. <laughs> it's crazy. There's the boys. Man, what a great group of riders and just good dudes all the way around. You can actually see the strip back there in the background it's pretty amazing but i mean just look at this trail just gorgeous it's so cool to go through the sagebrush and the joshua trees and go by the yuccas still got a yucca stuck in my elbow god man i put that sucker in there probably like three months ago it's just not coming out but um i guess that's uh kind of like having a tattoo <laughs> getting a piece of yucca stuck in you but i think all of us here in las vegas nevada we've all got choya stuck in our body that comes out two three weeks later sometimes two months later it's inevitable you know and here we are it's middle of march this might be one of our last rains this season i don't know you never know but um i'll tell you what i do know for sure that in about less than 45 days it's already going to be hitting 95 degrees in the desert again and less than 60 days it'll be 100 degrees out there so we're just enjoying these awesome winter spring conditions this is our riding season here in vegas 
And as you can see, I mean, look at that. That is dream hero dirt conditions. So uh, I'll try to play a little bit of the dirt bike sounds on this one, but since it was raining in the morning, I, I listened to what the microphone was picking up out of the, the uh, Osmo Action 3 GoPro and I think the microphone had some water in it so it didn't quite sound too good to me. Look at this little gnarly sucker here. This is a, this is a pretty stout, rugged trail that ends up in a final little ascent on a rocky, gnarly hill climb. You can either take like a solid rock shelf up or take the main line. I took the main line today and Man, it was cool. It's just so good when you look at that dude. He's like, which way do we go? But, you know, I just just hit it. Just didn't stop. And during this day, with the rain and the ground like this, it just was nothing but hookup. So very little sliding. And this 300 KTM XC, it's a 2023. Man, I love this bike. If you're thinking of getting a bike, this, this thing is so much fun. There's so much power. It's just it's just dynamite. You never know. I might get a 24 or 25 coming up. I'm sure I will in the future. It's just such a, such a great bike. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel if you made it to this far. I do videos like this all the time. All over the western United States, Mexico, down to Guatemala. And uh, I just, I love riding. I know you do too. And I love the hard enduro. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. We're up to almost 9,000 subscribers now. Just such an amazing journey. This, this YouTube channel has exploded this year. I'm not quite sure why all of a sudden this year it's blown up, but... We went from less than a thousand subscribers last year. All of a sudden, it just went boom up to 9,000. So it's really great to have you guys along for the ride. All right. Well, checking out here from Vegas. Try to do a couple more here in the next couple weeks. And we'll see you guys out on the trail. Take it easy.